AutoCAD user, do you want to learn the fastest way for architects to draw walls in AutoCAD and create plans in 15 minutes? This and my speed up drafting techniques coming up. Hi, I'm the Lazy Architecto. I'm so excited today because I created a super AutoCAD tool that is gonna save you so much time. So if you are new to this channel and you want to save time in AutoCAD every Tuesday, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's go ahead and get started. Your smart wall will be ready in three simple steps. Step 1. To start, type CUI and press enter. Then click the start icon to create a new command. Name your new command and then on the macro section type in the following code. Remember that this code and any other macro code will be posted in one of my social media platforms so you can easily copy and paste. So let's briefly explain this AutoCAD macro. First, you'll use CC to cancel any running command. Second, you'll use the command line version of layer command. X wall would be the name of your layer but feel free to change this layer name. Then we'll choose a color for your layer. In this example I picked magenta. Then we'll use the M line command. We'll set the style to be 5 inches X wall. Remember to copy this style name so you can use it in the step number two. Finally, I'll click OK. Now, select your lazy wall command and pick any icon from the icons available. Now click apply and finally let's click the lazy wall command and drag it to the quick access panel. This is the fastest way to have any of our new commands available anytime. I'll click apply and ok. The second step is to create a multi-line style. So go ahead and type MLS style and press enter. Here click new to create a brand new multi-line style. Remember to name it the same way that we name it in the macro code. Here select the first offset and Type in 2.5. Remember that this is going to be a 5 inch wall. Then click the star line and so your wall can come automatically closed. Finally click OK. The step number 3 is just copy and save your new multi line to your block library. If you don't have one, please go ahead and create one because this is a must have if you want to save time in AutoCAD. Once you have your AutoCAD library, use the lazy library command that we learned last week to import your multi lines in any drawing. So click your lazy library command and now 
you can test your new lazy wall command so let's click on it awesome so now that you have your lazy wall command working let me share some speed up drafting techniques so you can work faster with your AutoCAD walls the first one is don't worry about wall thickness simply choose the most used wall thickness and then change the other sizes or thickness in the end using the quick property or property palette you can easily change it here also remember to regenerate your drawing by typing re and enter if you don't see your architectural walls the other technique i want to share is never intersect your 2d walls instead always use the t technique to use your smart walls i'll explain you why in the next technique don't worry about having the correct dimensions for your rooms at the beginning you can easily fix your room dimensions by using the scale command i'll show you how s enter to stretch this wall from this point click press shift click from pick from this point and type in my distance so let's do it one more time s enter to stretch this wall from this point click press shift click from pick from this point and type in my distance I'll select this image and turn off the frame to show you my last technique. This is about trimming walls. To achieve this, simply double click on any smart wall and you'll have the following options. But you don't need to worry about any of these options the only option that you need to click is open t because you follow the previous techniques about the t shape drawing walls so i always zoom extend to easily trim my smart walls without zooming in and out but for this example i'll get closer to i'll get closer so you can see better so simply use the T technique selecting first this and this other wall this and this other one and so on just apply the T technique remember to explode your smart walls once you're done this is to avoid future problems and this is how you save time in AutoCAD remember that you can save somebody's time too by sharing this video I'll see you here next week